<laughs> hey, Hi. how you doing? Good. <laughs> so, uh, where's Eric? He's out in the car. What, you parking? No, we parked. What, is he on the phone? No. So what is he doing? Um, uh, I said something wrong out in the car and he just kind of shut down, you know? He wouldn't say a word to me. What? Why would he do that? Um, to be honest, things have not been great lately. He just, I mean, this isn't the first time. He just shuts down sometimes, you know? He won't talk to me for days. Days? Days. <laughs> you don't deserve to be treated like that. I know. I don't mean to pry, but are you guys like, Seeing someone? A therapist? No, he doesn't. Uh, won't. But please don't say anything, all right? Just... Yeah, sure. I, yeah, we don't need to do this today. No, I, I, I think it's better if we do. Valar Morghulis. That's right, movie buffs. Winter has come to the podcast. I have heard your requests from all across the Seven Kingdoms, so we've stolen the Lannister's HBO Go password, hitched a ride across the narrow sea, and found our way to the small screen. Game of Thrones, movie buffs. Now, you've heard them here before on the pod, but never together. It's the movie buffs resident power couple, Mary and Eric. Let's get right down to it, okay? Who is your favorite Game of Thrones character? I want a divorce. Just keep it going. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? If we just pretended it didn't happen? And he'll come around. Okay, uh, we have the season four finale coming up. You might want to steer clear of that subject, buddy. Well, I think this has been the best season thus far. I think they've finally brought Martin's true vision to the screen. All right, this is just stupid. Mary told me what is going on. Uh, and, and it's a good thing, too, because the source she material you what does happened? start to lag. Yeah, we're concerned about you. You know, it's not the first time she's done it. Sure Cried for help. Cried for help? Up at this same level. It's never going to equal the experience of reading the books, but then how could it? I mean, it's a... It's a she told me what happened in the season finale, Paul. What? You spoiled it? No, we were just talking about it in the car on the way over, and it just it slipped out. She's read all the books, and she just wants everyone to know. Why would you do that? Read it? It's one of the greatest literary achievements. Why no. wouldn't you? No, why would you do that? What? You spoiled it. She can't control herself. I, Ned's beheading, the red wedding. Purple wedding? No, he spoiled that for himself online. The purple yes. wedding, Oberyn. So this, this isn't an isolated incident. Uh-huh. You got a problem, Mary. Yeah, you need to get some help. You know, I take the time and the effort to read all the books before this was even a TV show, and then I'm supposed to watch my every word because everybody else wants to hop on the bandwagon. No, that's not gonna happen. I am in the right here. I am not the one with a problem. Go. I'm so sorry, man. I mean, how you live with something like that? Oh, I should probably get out to the car. She's just sitting there. Sure. Sorry about the episode. Sorry about the pod. And yeah, that's what I get for trying to do TV. Hey there, movie buffs. On the next podcast, I am Optimus Prime. And I am Paul. That's right, it's Michael Bay's Transformers. We're transforming.